to fly like a bird. Dr. Who? Do you want to know the secret of birds? Ah. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you. Let knowledge click. Birds can fly thanks to their special body structure, strength, light weight, and speed. When birds flap their wings down, their wings look like upside down spoons. They push air down, and that helps them fly up. Airplanes also use wings shaped like this. Birds keep their wings steady and use their tails to steer and stay balanced. Mm. Oh. Flying must be super tiring. Why don't birds ever get tired wings? <laughs> That's because birds have super strong chest muscles. A bird's bones are hollow inside, like a straw, so they're super light. Thanks to this, birds are very light and can easily fly up into the sky. However, not all birds can fly. Take a close look at these birds and guess which ones can fly. We know these birds can fly. Sparrow, eagle, wild duck. That's right. And birds like ostriches and penguins can fly. But they are excellent runners or swimmers. We got it. That's it for today. Join Wufu as he continues exploring the amazing world in the next episode. <laughs>
river and like water has less salt than their bodies. So water keeps sneaking in through the skin and gills. They don't drink actually. They need to get rid of extra water. Their kidneys are always busy. Now let's try putting each fish back into the right habitat. Blowfish. <laughs> Catfish. Dad and I once caught one at the lake. Oh. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Clownfish. I know this one. It lives in the sea. Oh, yeah! wow. Well done. <laughs> I believe you learned some facts about fish today. Oh no! <laughs> Why does my head hurt when I eat ice cream? Oh! Uh, have you ever experienced this like Wufu? Let knowledge click! When you eat, the food touches the roof of your mouth. An area full of blood vessels that lead up to the brain. The cold makes those blood vessels suddenly shrink. And then they quickly expand again as your mouth warms back up. This fast change tricked your brain into thinking there's pain in your head, which is called a brain freeze. <laughs> so, how can we avoid brain freeze when eating ice cream? Oh! Oh! If I do this, my brain will stay warm and won't get that icy pain, right? <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't help much. It's simple. When you get brain freeze, just spread your tongue against the roof of your mouth, the cold part to warm it up. Or, hmm, you can drink a little warm water. <laughs> And remember to eat your ice cream slowly instead of taking a big bite all at once. But why does it rain? I'll tell you why. Let knowledge clean. When it's sunny, the heat makes water from rivers and lakes evaporate. That means it's turned into tiny water drops and go up into the sky. As the drops go higher, they meet cold air. Then they stick together and make clouds. When the clouds get too heavy, they can't hold the water anymore. The drops fall down to the ground. That's called rain. Some of the rain goes into the ground and becomes underground water. That's called the water cycle. But how can we know when it's going to rain? When the water drops in the cloud gather together, they block the sunlight. That's why the clouds look darker. It's like thin glass is clear, but thick glass looks dark. Clouds work the same way. Oh, so mm. the darker the clouds, the more it's going mm. to rain? Exactly. Dark clouds are a warning. Big rain is coming. Run inside or bring a raincoat or umbrella if you need to go out. We, we got, got it! it. Mm. Oh. Woo, I'm so thirsty. Oh! <laughs> mm. uh. mm. So salty! Uh. 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 Oh. I'm sorry. Mm. Sea water isn't for drinking, dear. Why is it so salty? Did someone put salt in it? Mm. I'll tell you why. Let knowledge click! Rain water falls to the ground. As it flows, it wears away rocks and soil. Some chemical reactions also happen when rain touches the rocks. 
creating minerals. These mineral salts then flow into rivers, and from there, they travel all the way to the sea. The salt stays in the sea because the water doesn't flow away. Then the sea water evaporates up into the sky, but the salt stays behind. Little by little, more and more salt is left, and that's why the sea is salty. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> There's another reason the sea also gets salt from underwater volcanoes deep beneath the ocean. There are thousands of volcanoes working under the ocean. When sea water slips through cracks and meets the hot lava, it picks up more salt and minerals, then flows back into the sea. Wow. That's why oh. sea water is too salty to drink, but it still has many other great uses. Hmm. You can swim and play in the sea. Some things in sea water are even good for your skin. People also make salts from sea water. The same kind of salt your mom uses to cook yummy food for you. I got it! Next time, I'll bring fresh water to drink. Discover everything around us on Wolfu Explore Channel.